So it's that time again. There's a new version of Pro Tools 12.6. Some of you guys might already know this. If you haven't checked your Avid account, go do that. Click on subscriptions. And there you're going to see all your versions of Pro Tools. And right at the top, you're going to see 12.6. You can download it before you install it. Double check that you have the iLock license for your version of Pro Tools. The reason I'm saying this, Avid is pushing out this software. And what a lot of people don't know is that they're sending out new iLock licenses for this version of Pro Tools. Pro Tools 12.6 might show up under your Avid account, but in your iLock, you might not have the license to run it. So double check that. You know, it's one of those things we're going to have to just sit back and just wait until we get the license. A lot of you guys probably won't even upgrade. I know a couple of people that take three, four weeks before they even install the new version of Pro Tools. They see what other users say about it. And that's a smart thing. So I will have more information about this. Check the description. It's going to take you to a post that Avid made regarding this issue. As soon as I get my license, I will make a video. I will show you what's new. I also want to discuss the new subscription plans, all the price changes. If you really enjoyed this video, you see that thumbs up button, click it. First time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. At the same time, I want you to check the description. There's going to be some information there regarding the subject that we spoke about. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'm always posting a lot of information there. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.